Hello everyone and welcome to Hack Informer HD. Now quite recently I made a tutorial showing how to install VHBL. The main problem with this was its varying levels of success. It took one guy more than 4 tries before his actually begun working. Now what I didn't know is that you actually don't need VHBL to run emulators as if you have ARC it is able to do the exact same thing as VHBL. So anyways while you're here why don't I show you. Now obviously you're going to need ARC to run these emulators so if you do not have ARC please go into the description below and follow that tutorial. Alright so next up we're going to go ahead and download our emulator. Now in this case I'll be using the SNES emulator. If you want the links to all these it's in the description below so go ahead. So yeah I'm going to be using the SNES as I have a Super Mario ROM over here. So yeah I'm going to go ahead and download it which I think I already had downloaded if I don't remember correctly. One second. Yes, I have it downloaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it, and you're gonna go ahead inside of what it doesn't. This is the same um, method for every emulator that's in that description, that link in the description. So yeah, I'm gonna head into um, my emulator folder, and you're gonna see install the dot zip. You're gonna go into your install dot zip, and then the main thing you're looking for is this eboot.pbp. So once you see an eboot.pbp, you're gonna head back and copy this folder. I'm going to head up, put it on my desktop real quick. And just to double check again, this folder does have the eboot.pbp in it. Alright, so next up, there's a folder named ROMs in this. So I'm going to go ahead and copy over my Super Mario ROM into here. Now next up, we're going to want to move this folder over to our psave data. Now if you don't know where your psave data is, which if you've been watching my tutorials by now, you should. Um, you go over to your QCMA settings. Application slash backups fault right there. Copy that in. Open your file explorer. Oh wow, look at that. I already have it here. Paste it in. And if we head down, I should see P save data right there. Go into this. Boom. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this into there. Boom. Boom. Alright, next up. Oh wait, sorry. Before we even do that, make sure to refresh your that your database. All right, let's refresh. All right, so after this, we're gonna go ahead and transfer this uh, save data over to our PS Vita. All right, so when we're back on our Vita, we're gonna go ahead and transfer over that emulator. Now, once that's done transferring, we can go ahead and open up Arc. When Arc is open, we're gonna go ahead and head over to the save folder that's holding the eBoot for our emulator. From there, all we gotta do is click start and run it up. Alright guys, I really hope this tutorial helped you out, and if it did, please hit that like button. Now if you have any questions, just hit me at the bottom in the comment section, I'll be answering pretty much all of them. And also, if you want to stay up to date with the hacking news, and just entertaining content in general, hit that subscribe button. Anyways guys, I'm just Rennie. I'll be seeing you later, signing out, peace.